I'm definitely having one of those days where I really don't feel like running. I got my day started a little bit late, and now it's five o'clock, and I'm just banging out my four miles. Initially, the plan was to do it, 12 o'clock. Usually by the time I've run, I've had a ton of water, I've had a few meals down, and I'm mentally ready for my run. Today, just wasn't feeling it. So we're gonna end this here. The plan was to run four miles, I ran 3.2, and I'll have to make up the extra mile sometime this week. One positive to end by, at least my pace was down, 9.20ish, and I was able to hold that for most of the run, but didn't feel good. <laughs> All right, we're here at Black Sheep Think. Little tattoo before the training session. I don't really think it's a good idea, but it's the only time I got to get a tattoo. Alex, what are we doing? We are doing a fine line flower on your elbow, my friend. So let's see what you what you got. I don't feel like the elbow is the most ideal place to do a tattoo. It's probably not the most fun for you. Um, no, not the most fun, but that style is a good choice for the elbow. Cool. So. Black Sheep Ink in Lowell. Let me just be clear that marathon training and tattoo getting are not two things that will ever go together or should go together because now my elbow, as much as I think it looks great, hurts and running five miles today is going to suck. I think it's pretty safe to say with the way that the weather is going right now and it's still raining, I won't be running outside today, which means I'll have to run in the basement. But before that, going back to yesterday, um, after I got my tattoo, I ran five miles. The weather was hot. I clearly timed out my day, not as well as I should have with the food and the water intake. The run didn't feel great. Uh, pace was pretty good, low nines, but overall, I really need to work and focus on feeling myself better throughout the day. Today, I did a better job at that. Because this workout is usually on the longer end of things, I do a very bad thing where I don't really stretch before and I usually try to get into the run as fast as possible. So I'll probably run at six or about 30 seconds and then I'll crank it up to eight. Don't suggest doing it, but it just gets me going a lot faster. Set number two down. Feeling good, but my legs definitely feel heavier. It says 93 right now. Not the best day for a five mile tempo run. Gotta get the miles in though. Gonna have a spring. These are by far, in my opinion, the best energy gels that are out there. I used to have the goos, which are perfectly fine, but these ones taste better and the texture is not as gel-like. Oh God. <laughs> that was a five mile run and honestly, that's probably the toughest run I've had this training cycle. Six miles of regular run today, which um, ironically looking forward to just because of yesterday's five mile disaster because of the heat, but today it's just as hot. I'm gonna to try to go out sooner than later. That way the heat doesn't affect me as much. But stimulus for this one, just get the six miles done. Don't be too concerned about time and have fun. Right, buddy? We are three miles, 3.28 miles into the 12 miles today. The sun came out. Although I would appreciate the rain that was falling when I started, but I feel good. The carbo loading from yesterday definitely helps. A little bit hot, but again, I'm still feeling good. So let's try and knock out three more, three to four more before I check in again. I get about two and a half miles left. I am in Lowell on the boulevard, which is already nine and a half miles from my house. If you do the loop around, starting to feel tired. My pace is still really good, comfortable at about 9.30, but 
but I'm definitely starting to get tired. Took my last fuel hit about 10 minutes ago and I'm pounding the Gatorade trying to get through this last push. Let's finish strong.